A tunnel is simply a hole that leads to another hole, right? There can never be anything interesting about that. Well, tunnels can actually be far more fascinating than you think. These are 20 tunnels that will blow your mind. Number 20. Channel Tunnel Earlier in this video, I talked about a floating tunnel that could help out a whole lot of people in Norway. In England, however, they already have an undersea tunnel that's been going on for almost 30 years now. The world's most incredible undersea tunnels. The Channel Tunnel opened in May of 1994 after six years of construction. It is the longest undersea tunnel in the world. But here's another twist for you. It's technically not a tunnel. It's three tunnels in one. That's right three tunnels that were made and then put right next to one another so that they could run parallel. But why do that? Well, one of those tunnels is for cars to go through, and the other two are for trains that ferry all kinds of cargo throughout the tunnels. There's a lot of nuance with these tunnels that many will not know about until they venture into them, such as how they're not fully straight. They twist and turn and help them get through the area. and they also are longer than the gap between the two countries that they span, France and England. But why? Well, that's because they don't go the straight path. They instead go across two nearby islands. And even with the extended routes, they've cut the travel time down significantly. Before the tunnel, it took around six or seven hours by rail and ferry from London to Paris. Trains? Well, they can now do that same journey in two and a half hours. As such, the trains are now key for commerce and travel between the nations, and they were even labeled as one of the seven modern wonders of the world. And here you thought that it was just an underwater tunnel. You should know better by now. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Gualang Tunnel Road Now we head from Norway to China and go from talking about a potentially dangerous operation to a very dangerous road that you can drive on right now. Located in the northwest of Henan Province in China, this tunnel is famous for its dangerous location and difficult construction. Built in the early 1970s, it's one of the most famous Chinese tunnel roads and definitely one of the most terrifying to drive if you're not careful. Why is that? Well, the tunnel was made by hand, and that means that it isn't the widest place in the world. In fact, it's only four meters wide. Furthermore, those who have driven in the tunnel have noted that you have to be 100% focused on the place ahead of you so that you can know what's coming or try to react should something go wrong. There have been plenty of accidents within the tunnel over the years, and that proves that this is one of the most dangerous roads in the world. But one reason there's even light in the tunnel is because of the 30 windows that the tunnel's creators made, and that can be one of the problems at times. People are sometimes prone to simply looking out of those windows and gazing at the scenery, but when they do, they open themselves up to an accident because they're not paying attention to the road. To be fair, the tunnel is still impressive, mainly because it was made by just 13 villagers who took five years to make it happen, all while using an army's worth of tools. It's an impressive work of craftsmanship, and for that, we can all be grateful. But you'll still never find me driving on that road. Number 18. Brockville Railway Tunnel Here's a tunnel that is different from the last two that you've seen. After all, I've talked about car tunnels before, and now we can talk about trains. But not just any old train tunnel, that wouldn't be a whole lot of fun. Instead, I'm talking about the first train tunnel in Canada, the Brockville Railway Tunnel. This train tunnel was built all the way back in 1854. It had long and distinguished history, and as you may have guessed, the train tunnel is now closed. So why are we talking about it? Well, because eventually it was reopened, and after some retrofitting, it turned out to be a tourist attraction. Visitors can now walk from the south portal to the north, exiting at the north end gorge and then going up a ramp to the street level. Prior to the rehabilitation, visitors were only able to enter at the south and walk a short distance underground. And so clearly they've made some upgrades. But you may be thinking, what's so cool about walking through a train tunnel? Well, simply put, nothing. 
if it was just that. But the people behind this tourist trap knew how to bring in some style to the mix. It now features modern LED colored lighting systems, which is programmed in various ways, along with a recorded music track that plays while one walks through. So yeah, they basically give you a show as you go through the tunnel, which is awfully considerate of them, I would say. The tunnel basically glows in various colors, and you'll get to see something that you typically wouldn't if you were just riding the train through it. Now sure, is it the coolest thing that you're going to see? Probably not, but it shows that these tunnels can also have a use even after the train leaves the station. Number 17. Stockholm Metro now, as I just showed you, sometimes train tunnels can be used in a more artistic way, but while Canada did it well, it was Sweden who did it the best. You see, they decided to take their entire Stockholm Metro line and turn it into an art gallery. In 1957, the Stockholm's Tunnelbana, or Stockholm Tunnel Rail, began inviting artists to decorate their stations as a means of democratizing art. And you thought you liked Sweden before. Now you know they were progressive in the arts long before it was cool to do so. Oh, and their artistic flair with this goes far beyond what you may be expecting. They started out with just one artist, and they started bringing in more, and then one after another the artists began to decorate just about every station on the Stockholm Metro. By the time the project would be completed, 90 out of 100 stations had been fully decorated. And as you would expect, the artists put their various styles and touches to make their personal station stand out from the rest. You'll find wonderful mosaics, beautiful pieces of abstract art, and you'll even find a station that has pixel art. So why is this truly mind-blowing? Well, simply put, art has been something that people have either appreciated in full or hardly appreciated all, depending on where you're from and what time period you're in. The Swedish didn't have to do it like this, and it must have been costly to do, but because they did, they not only provided people with all sort of art on display to appreciate in full for many decades to come, but they showed that art is something that is truly transcendent and thus be put on display for the masses. Could you even imagine the art that we'd see if every major nation in the world did something like this? Oh, and because of what they've done, Sweden now holds the world record for the world's longest gallery. Number 16. Switzerland's Goddard Train Tunnel Now, it's inevitable that I'm going to show you a really super long tunnel. Measuring in at 57 kilometers in length, and situated 2.3 kilometers deep under the Alps, and featuring a cost of 11 billion euros to complete, Switzerland's Goddard Base Tunnel is more than just the world's longest and most expensive tunneling project. Or at least that was the intention when it was completed in 2016. You see, at the time, Europe was going through a whole lot of things. and they would continue to do so for many years, as most of you would likely know. But the goal of the train line was to bring the continent together and say that anything was possible through teamwork. And if you're curious by what I mean by that, in 2016, many nations in Europe were not welcoming in immigrants and other people. They essentially had shut themselves off from one another, and it caused a whole lot of worry for a whole lot of people. Unity is something that our world needs right now more than anything, and back then, it seemed like just a distant memory. The Goddard train tunnel was such an accomplishment, as it took 17 years to make all of the tunnels and passages. And so, when it made its maiden voyage, many world leaders from Europe and other special guests were invited to take the first ride down. If you're wondering why this particular train was made, it was designed to take off 45 minutes from the journey between Zurich and Lugano. So it was meant to help everyone save a little bit of time, while also providing a more smooth ride from point A to point B. You likely never thought of a train track being used as a peacekeeping tool, and yet here we are. Number 15. Norway's Floating Tunnel As noted, tunnels have been one of the many ways that humanity has concocted to get around a certain obstacle. But even those can sometimes have their fair share of problems, which includes making the bloody things in a good amount of time. However, there are times when you might feel that a tunnel is a bit better, and you don't have the terrain to put it in. In Norway, they've actually proposed a solution to get around this new problem. In 2019, they came up with an idea called a floating tunnel, 
one that would be built and submerged in the nearby waters, and people would drive through this sealed up tunnel versus having to go across the more rugged terrain of their coast. Steep icy mountains and deep fjords make western Norway famously scenic, but they also make life difficult for motorists, and thus a tunnel would help to facilitate travel without the wear and tear on people and their vehicles. Now, if you think that we're overselling the roughness of the terrain just a little bit, It has been stated that the distance between the two main cities that the West Coast Path connects can take over 20 hours for the simple reason that cars have to drive at a maximum of 48 kilometers per hour. In other words, it's really kind of slow. But if they were in a sealed tunnel, one that had perfectly paved tunnel roads for them to go on, well, they could go well over double that speed and thus cut their commute time in half. Now sure, you wouldn't get the scenic route that you would on the surface, but most traveling parties prefer to get their destination quickly versus just seeing sights all the time. And if you're curious, no, the tunnel itself would not actually be floating, as that would be dangerous, but instead it'll be tethered with cables, and the result of that will help to stabilize the tunnel so that people can drive without worry. In the case of an emergency, there would be routes that they could take to get out quickly. So when will we see this miraculous marvel of a tunnel? Well, the year 2050. Yeah, it's going to be a while, but hey, it'll be one of the world's most incredible undersea tunnels when it's completed. Number 14. Hezekiah's Tunnel Now, if you're familiar with that name, it's probably because you may have studied the Christian Bible or actually paid attention in church one day, or because you know history. Either way, he was an important figure. He was a very godly man and even made mandates so that the people of Jerusalem and Judah as a whole would only worship their one true God and not any of the other religious deities that had been promoted by other cultures. As king, he was known to be wise and fair, doing what needed to be done for his people. That also included making Hezekiah's tunnel. This was a 530 meter tunnel that was carved during the reign of Hezekiah to bring water from one side of the city of Jerusalem to the other. Hezekiah's tunnel, together with the 6th century tunnel of Euphalius in Greece, is considered to be some of the greatest works of water engineering technology in the pre-classical period. The irony here is that the tunnel could have been much shorter if they'd actually followed a straight line. They reference the tunnel that he made in two different books of the Bible, that being 2 Kings and 2 Chronicles. Regardless, it was an impressive piece of engineering that had helped the people of one of the most important cities in the world, both then and now. Number 13. The Eisenhower Tunnel It's often considered a compliment to have something named after you, even if the thing that's named after you is known to be quite dangerous to those who enter it. Located on the boundary of Summit and Clear Creek counties in Colorado, the famous Eisenhower Tunnel is one of the highest vehicular tunnels in the world, at 3.401 meters above sea level. That is really high, and yet having high roads and tunnels is nothing new to humanity, and being high in Colorado is not either. Trust me on that. It was actually the highest tunnel in the world at one point, and you can bet the United States was proud of it. Anyways, one of the reasons that the place is and was so dangerous was because of a lot of people getting hurt or dying trying to make the thing. To make it happen, they had to go through the Continental Divide, which was a whole lot tougher than anticipated. An irony with that is the tunnel technically is not that long. The two tunnels are basically 2.73 kilometers long, and so you'll blaze through there in about five minutes. It's said that about 10 million vehicles go through the tunnel every single year. And despite its troubled history, it does serve a great purpose. Another thing that may shock you is that they don't only monitor the tunnel and the roads in the place, they also monitor the air quality. And when you're up that high, it's already pretty thin up there. The last thing that you want is for the air to become polluted in some way. And so they monitor it on a daily basis so that they know exactly what's happening all around them. That is dedication right there. Number 12. Dramon Spiral This next one is definitely one of the most unique tunnels that we've talked about so far. Located in Dramon, which is in Norway, the Dramon Spiral is an unusual helix-shaped tunnel. That's right, 
It's a tunnel that was formed to be a helix. We have so many questions about that right now. I mean, after all, when you think of a tunnel, they're typically straight or they may curve a bit to avoid certain things. There's a natural order, if you will. But that's not what we have in this one. It does get worse or better, depending on how you look at things. You don't see the same. Yeah. You don't take this tunnel and spiral downwards. Oh no. Instead, you go up over 200 meters above where you begin over the course of six loops. Once you're at the top, you'll be able to see the full town of Dremen in all of its spectacular glory. And again, I have a lot of questions on why everything was done this way. Granted, the answer would seem to be that they were trying to get people up to the top of this section of Norway, and going straight up would not have been a reasonable answer. However, the spiral must have taken a lot of work to make and stabilize, and plus, not everyone's going to like the tunnel due to its compact quarters. In fact, they warn that if you do have a fear of tight spaces, you should not go into the place. And that is good advice. Number 11. Boond Sightseeing Tunnel Now we'll talk about another tunnel in China, as this one is pretty special like the last. The Boond Sightseeing Tunnel goes under a river that connects the Boond and another area of the Pudong District, and so yet another underwater tunnel. It's clear that people know how to build these and build them safely so that they can connect their worlds together. The length of this tunnel is 646.7 meters, so it is not the longest one ever, but it does serve a purpose as has been stated. <laughs> Here's a twist though, you don't go through the tunnel by car, you actually do it by train. Plus, that train ride is also meant to be a true experience. The compartments of sightseeing maglev train are completely transparent, and it allows 360 degree views, and the six channel surround system amplifies the experience, with sound effects changing as the scenery changes. So you may be thinking, why go through all of that effort? Well, for anyone who's ever ridden on a train, they know that it can be a rather boring deal sometimes, even if it's only a few moments. So perhaps the people who made this train just felt that they wanted to liven up people's lives a bit and entertain them for a while. Could you even imagine if all train rides had this kind of entertainment value? We'd probably be all living on Easy Street and would want to ride the train all the time. Number 10. The Mar Mare Tunnel now, when it comes to building a tunnel, there are multiple things that you have to plan for, and one of the biggest things is something happening to the tunnel itself. Easily, one thing that you don't want to happen to a tunnel when you're in it is suffering an earthquake. Those things can wreck the tunnel, and by extension, the people and the trains within. However, in Istanbul, Turkey, this tunnel was created to not only bridge the gap in Europe, but withstand even the most damaging of earthquakes. And if you don't believe me, well, according to those who created it, the thing can apparently withstand an earthquake of up to 10 magnitude. That's the kind of earthquake that could break nations if it hit in the right spot. So yeah, if they're boasting that, then the tunnel must be worth its weight in gold. Number 9. The Smart Tunnel Look, nobody likes an idiot, even if that idiot is an inanimate object. So when someone decided to make an actual intelligent tunnel, we could finally take a breath and sigh of relief. The Stormwater Management and Road Tunnel, aka the Smart Tunnel, is the longest tunnel in Malaysia and the second longest stormwater bypass tunnel, with a 4-kilometer dual-deck motorway within the stormwater tunnel itself. And if you're questioning the real purpose of the thing, well, it's simple. They needed it to help get rid of flash flooding in the area, thanks to the nearby rivers. And those floods would create traffic jams. And so, the tunnel was a vital piece of construction, hence why it would be built. Number 8. The Tunnel of Love now, to be clear here, I'm not talking about a carnival ride called the Tunnel of Love. That would be just too easy of a joke to be made. Instead, I'm talking about an actual tunnel called the Tunnel of Love, which can be found in Ukraine. Equally as important, it's not something that you drive through or even waft through on a boat. It's a railway surrounded by green arches and is 3 to 5 kilometers in length. It's known for being a favorite place for couples to take a walk since the trains only pass through about three times a day. And as you can see through these pictures, it is a very majestic place. And as such, you can see why people would attach a name like the Tunnel of Love to it 
because it almost feels like a place out of a fairy tale. But I'm pretty sure that fairy tales didn't have trains. I digress though. Number 7. Zion Mount Carmel Tunnel Another important thing to be noted about these tunnels is that many of them were firsts for their nation in one form or another, and this next tunnel is a perfect example of that. Construction of the Zion Mount Carmel Tunnel began in the late 1920s and would be completed in 1930. At the time that tunnel was dedicated on July 4th of 1930, it became the longest tunnel of its type in the United States. But there is a twist. While it was a long tunnel, it didn't have the necessary means to prevent people from being idiots. That's why, decades later, the tunnel became home to a lot of traffic accidents due to how many cars were passing through and how tall the vehicles were that entered into it. As such, the tunnel is now traffic controlled. In this case, it can be changed from a two-lane road to a one-lane road, which allows larger vehicles to go in. Number 6. Tokyo Bay Aqua Line do you care to guess what kind of tunnel this might be by the name Tokyo Bay Aqua Line? I'm sure it's right on the tip of your tongue. The Tokyo Bay Aqua Line, also known as the Trans-Tokyo Bay Expressway, is an expressway that is mainly made up of bridge tunnel combinations across Tokyo Bay in Japan. And by across, I obviously mean that it goes under the water so that you can cross with ease and then pop back up on the other side without a whole lot of issues. Kind of like train whack-a-mole. Arguably, one of the coolest parts of this particular tunnel is that there's an artificial island right before it that you can stop and get some rest and refreshments in. How kind of them to help people coming and going out of that area. But easily the biggest boon of this tunnel is that it's shortened the travel time between the two prefectures in question by around 75 minutes. Time is money after all, and in Japan, they do love both. Number 5. Another Tunnel in Norway And yet here we have another underwater tunnel for you, and you may be surprised by how many nations have one of these. After all, you have to use what you've gotten, right? And if you can't go over it, well, you have to go under it. This tunnel in question, featuring a name that I can't pronounce, is part of a larger project in Norway to help make more tunnels like these. It is 14.4 kilometers long and is currently the world's longest and deepest subsea road tunnel. That all being said, another tunnel in the project is said to be even longer when completed in about a decade from now. So yes, this one will have the crown for just a little bit longer. One fun detail about this tunnel is that there's a toll to enter. However, if you have a zero emission vehicle, well, you get 50% off. Drive green, everyone, right? Number 4. Boryong Undersea Tunnel How about we now head to South Korea for a bit? They're always a fun country to have a look at. The 6.9 kilometer long Boryong Undersea Tunnel was built to connect a port in Boryong, about 190 kilometers south of Seoul, with Wonsan Island in another county. It is the longest undersea tunnel in the nation, taking 11 years to make it happen. And so you can bet that they were happy to get about the business of launching trains when they opened in 2021. Just as important is that it was a four land underwater tunnel way, which would allow for much more traffic to go through with its design. Worldwide, it is the fifth longest underwater tunnel that exists. Number three, the Jungfrajash. One thing that I've made clear with many of these entries is that I have a hard time pronouncing things that have really crazy names. And the point of tunnels is to many times get people to places that they can't get to on their own. In this case, I'm talking about this tunnel with a really crazy name, which is a nice one that was meant to take people up a rather high mountain. The railway station sits at an elevation of 3,454 meters, and it's the highest in Europe. It's the one that you use to get up the mountain, which includes going through an underground tunnel. It should be noted that within the range of this train and tracks is the Sphinx Observatory, which is one of the highest astronomical observatories out there today. I bet some of you wouldn't mind going up there, now would you? Number 2. The Lairdal Tunnel 
In June of 1992, the Norwegian parliament decided to construct the world's longest road tunnel. We have to note that I've talked a lot about Norway today and their tunnels in this video, and I definitely did not intend to do that. It just so happened because they make a lot of these tunnels, apparently. The 24 and a half kilometer long stretch of tunnels goes between Orland and Lardal on the new main highway that connects Oslo and Bergen. Oh, but what made this tunnel appealing to many is that they made sure that there were plenty of views to see. They intentionally opened up parts of the tunnel so that they could put on a light show of sorts. Add to that the natural scenery both in and out of the tunnel, and it becomes a popular travel spot for a whole lot of people. Number 1. A Tunnel in South Korea this tunnel features a long and complicated name, but I promise that it has a simplified purpose. It's a mixture of a bridge and a tunnel that was meant to connect a city of Busan in South Korea to an island. Doing so cut the travel time between the two considerably and also opened up multiple lanes of traffic for people to go through. It took a whole lot of work to make the bridges and the tunnel for the link, and when the tunnel was complete, it was one of the deepest in the entire world. Not only was it more efficient time-wise, but it was also more cost-efficient as well. South Korea ended up saving about three million a year, all thanks to how the flow of traffic is steady instead of getting clogged up on the original route. Well, that's all from the realm of tunnels and all the shapes and forms that they can come in. Do you think that some of these tunnels were really impressive? And which ones did you enjoy the most? Perhaps you know of another tunnel that could have easily made it onto this list. You should be sure to let me know all about that in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.